friends, my name is Aki Dearest, and I'll be accompanying this episode while we go balls deep into some anime. So here we go, 10 things you probably didn't know about Elfin Lead. Elfin Lead was written and illustrated by Lin Okamoto, who was a former employee of Bandai until he decided to pursue a career as a professional manga artist. Okamoto made his debut into the manga industry in the year 2000, with his first short story manga that was also titled Elfin Lead. This short story literally has no connection or relation to the better known series he wrote later on. The earlier version was a tsundere type love story about two young musicians. Okamoto also mentioned that the first Elfin Lead is the only manga he ever wrote before going professional. Two years later, he created the series Elfin Lead that we all know and love today. The series serialized in Shueisha's weekly Young Jump from 2002 to 2005, with 107 chapters collected into 12 volumes. Later, around 2004, a 13 episode anime series was directed by Mamoru Kanbe and Takoa Yoshioka, animated by Arm Studios and produced by Genko and Vap. Although not being too closely involved with the production, Okamoto felt he lost control of the direction he envisioned the anime to go. This ultimately led to some disagreement with director Kanbe. Although Okamoto was given a brief cameo appearance as a guest in episode 12, so the relationship couldn't have been too bad. Now let's talk about the ideologies and concepts. Elfin Lead has many references and inspirations to our world. The title Elfin Lead was driven and based off a German poem, which translates to Elf Song, or more correctly, the Song of the Elves. The poem was written in 1837 by the German author Edward Morike. In 1888, the Austrian composer Hugo Wolf adapted Elfin Lead into a song, along with many others of Morike's poems. In the poem, the term Shilipilit is used to describe a fictional creature. Okamoto used this term to denote a subcategory of species of Diclonius. Okamoto used this term to denote a subcategory of species called Diclonius, which is what our characters belong to. This poem was also mentioned in the manga in Volume 5, Chapter 47. Another reference is that Lucy is named after the common name of Australopithecus, the oldest known human ancestor found in Ethiopia. The specimen was named Lucy because the team repeatedly played Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by the Beatles during excavation. As the manga had not been finished by the time the TV series started airing, the manga and anime have several significant plot differences. The anime only follows events roughly up to about halfway through the manga, and it has its own original ending. As a result, much of the characters' pasts and details of the Diclonius that were in the manga do not appear in the anime. Several of the characters in the manga weren't even introduced in the anime, such as Aiko, who Lucy encountered prior to the start of the series and the characters of Cyplet like Number 28, the Madako clones, Lucy's younger half-brother, Anakakazawa, and Yuka's friend Nozomi, who wanted to be a singer but couldn't because of a verbally abusive father and an unsupporting family. In the anime, a flashback shows of Kota buying a Lily a music box in a local gift shop after arriving in Kamakura, despite being told by Kane and Yuka that the song it plays is too sad. This does not occur in the manga at all. In fact, the music box is an anime-only plot device which was meant to replace the role of Nozomi, who was by the way rumored to be a character that director Kanbei didn't even like, and whose removal was supposedly the source of a disagreement with Okamoto. Kanbei later said that the seeming dispute was caused by not having enough time in the anime to flesh out Nozomi. Several properties of the Diclone change between the manga and the anime. Lucy has much fewer vectors in the anime and her destructive power is far more powerful in the manga. At the point she can destroy buildings and sink an island. In the manga, a Diclonius's hair color can be as diverse as a human being's, while in the anime all of the Diclone have a similar pink or red hairstyle and eye color. In 2005, an OVA was written to occur between episodes 10 and 11 of the anime's release. This OVA covered some missing background of Lucy's past. If you guys want to pick up the manga, you should probably read it from the beginning as the anime took a different route to foretell the story. But if you simply don't give a fuck about it and want to continue from the anime, then you should start around chapter 60. Before the final conception of Elfin Lead, Okamoto had drawn many variations of the main protagonist he envisioned. For instance, the concept art of New or Lucy was originally meant to look quite different. She was originally drawn with light brown or dark blonde hair, similar to Yuki's hair in the manga. She had an Ahoge foolish hairstyle and more pointed alien looking horns. In this illustration, Okamoto's notes say he forgot to add her right hand, though based on her other pose, said hand is present in the drawing. The 
opening images were taken from the art pieces made by Gustave Clement, particularly the most famous painting, The Kiss. Additional promotions for artwork were done through the designs of the hands. Elfenlied incorporates famous hand symbols done by El Greco with the ring and middle fingers connected. Some also describe that Elfenlied had borrowed elements from various other animes. Most of the episodes contain grotesque and violent scenes that some would describe as mixing insane amounts of violence with a heavy dose of ultra cuteness. The director stated that he wanted the anime to discuss the values relating to humans dividing one another simply by their differences. This is displayed in the segregation between the Diclonius and ordinary humans. The way he uses Lucy's violence towards the others expresses the influence of how people are treated by others. The theme of Elfenlied also heavily covers the mindset of genocide being an attempt to purify the earth. This exists as the mindset of the Diclonius and the humans how they commit outright killing and cruel experimentation. These are all themes which are meant to arise from the issues of discrimination towards others as well as other themes that display compassion and vengeance between humans. Elfin Lead takes place in Kamakura, Japan. Kamakura is a seaside Japanese city just south of Tokyo. However, there are certain elements in the anime that take place within Kamakura that are left vague open to interpretation. Kamakura has also been a place as a common location for several other anime as well, such as Slam Dunk. At first, the production team was surprised that Alkamoto chose Kamakura to be the setting for something as gruesome as Elfin Lead. But after several visits and studying the area a little more, the the team agreed that Kamakura was the most ideal location for the story to unfold. The peacefulness and tranquility of the entire area made a good setting for an airy yet deeply meaningful series. Scenes include shots of interactions between characters on top of the set of steps and overlooking the coastline. These shots were to help convey the ideas of memories and emotion. Also, the main shrine featured in Elfenlied is a popular tourist attraction in Kamakura and just 15 minutes away from the shrine, there is an actual orphanage which placed a prominent role in Lucy's backstory. The series subtly displays different theologies and religious beliefs from Buddhism, Shintoism, and Eastern religions. For example, the first four lines of the opening song Lilium are two verses from the Holy Bible. The Latin translations of these verses are also seen engraved in the images of the opening. The song Lilium is also based around the religious renaissance hymn called Ave Monde Spes Maria. It doesn't sound similar, but the lyrics and the meaning of both songs mirror each other quite well. The anime director Mamoru Kanbei requested his composer to create the opening theme to be religious. The composer Mocha took a big liking to this concept and said that she chose to have the lyrics in Latin because she went on a mission when she was younger where the hymns were sung in Latin. She remembered that she liked the way the language sounded and incorporated this into the song. The real city of Kamakura is historically significant in Buddhist and Shinto temples that date back thousands of years old, so it's no surprise that the series would give various references to Buddhism and Shintoism. A lot of these references pertain to goddesses, which is also not as surprising considering the story of Elfin Lead primarily focuses on female characters. The Buddhist statue seen in several parts of the series is actually Benzaiten, who was originally the Hindu goddess of music, dance, and good fortune. This is a very bright and optimistic being overseeing the dark and gruesome story that takes place down below. The island, which is called Enoshima Island, was also said to have been created by Benzaiten. Another interesting fact is that Benzaiten's origin goddess makes up only a third of herself. A common feature for gods and goddesses is featuring them into groups of three. Elfin Lead mirrored this in the concept into the three personalities of Lucy, including herself, Mew, and the DNA voice. Throughout the anime, we see New's favorite thing to fix is the clock, and Lucy's favorite thing was the music box. At the end of the anime, we see that the music box starts to stop, but the clock begins to work. This hints that although Lucy has died, New still lives on. Another hint is we still see a split second shot of what appears to be Lucy's shadow standing on the side of the gate the moment Korta realizes the clock is working. In the manga, an underground grotto beneath the institute lays which is called the Lebesborn Project. Here, selective breeding was made to destroy and replace all of humanity. It is also the graveyard where all of the horned people are buried. Lebensborn means fountain or life. The Lebensborn Project was also the name given to the project in Nazi Germany, which sought to breed pure Aryan children. It was a project meant to counteract birth rates in Germany and promote Nazi eugenics. Again, another part of the story sharing the theme of discrimination and the mentality of using genocide to quote 
quote-unquote purify the earth. In Elfin Lead, the Lebensborn Project was believed to be a method of creating a new and improved human race that they believed to be elected by God. In this case, the Diclonius. The project first sought to infect all men worldwide with the Diclonius virus, and then make Lucy essentially the eve of the new race, considering she is the only fertile female of her race. Some say that the morbid and grim look of the grotto is to counterpoint the look of the Jojin Cemetery. In the manga, the grotto was first referenced as being called Onigashima, which is a reference to an old tale in Japan, regarding a mythical island which is said to harbor demons. The location is rumored to have been linked to a place called Megijima Island that lies off the coast of Seto. Here you can visit the island and the caves that sit at the top of the summit. Here is said to be the home of the ogres from that story. The outro of Elfin Lead holds a lot of symbolism in regards to the storyline and references made. Lucy's pose is a reference to Danae's painting by Gustave Klint. Danae was known to be the bearer of Zeus's child. Lucy reflects the same situation, however although she does not bear children, the fact that she is the first fertile Diclonius of her kind makes her the mother of a new race, and what is seen to be God chosen by some of the characters. In accordance to the opening of the anime, where we see Lucy tortured and in pain, we end each episode of of her at peace. This is to reflect the entire story and her transition of a character. It is quite morbid to know that in both the opening and ending, she is still unfortunate and can never truly be happy, because the side of her that will be accepted is through New. New continues to always live for her, but Lucy will always remain as the side that will never truly have an identity of her own in the world. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video and going balls deep in Elfin Lead and you know what? Really appreciate you guys pressing the like button and pressing subscribe and you know check out Aki Darius as we will be collaborating with her more in the future and she's really cool and you know she's become the new bae. So, <laughs> so pretty much <laughs> so, stupid. so pretty much go ahead and subscribe to her and you know what? Press <coughs> uh, you know what? Fuck this man. Um, check out our other videos. We will be covering Haiku and Berserk and Seven Deadly Sins, and we pretty much got a huge list. And we are going get to get on with it, it, dude. And they are pretty much a lot of shit for us to do. And you know what? Fucking you know, Akidera just mix this shit up. Fuck this oh shit. Oh my god, we're fun. already reaching 13 minutes here. In short, guys, check out their channel. They're gonna be coming out with some awesome stuff. Yay. Thank you. Bye-bye.